guys. Okay, so before COVID, I had worn false lashes maybe five times in my life. Um, quarantine has turned me into a baddie and no makeup look looks complete without a false lash. I just feel like I'm not on, you know? Um, so I am blessed to be an ambassador for my sweet friend's um, business. Um, it's called CVET Beauty. Um, I'll list her info below. You can place orders via DM on her Instagram. Um, but as a makeup artist, I've played with a lot of lashes on a lot of clients, and I wish that this brand existed for all the weddings and proms I'd done. Um, anyway, I spent a lot of quarantine mastering the false lash on myself, and um, we're still not there yet, but um, we're making strides. Um, but I'm serious. Y'all can't tell me nothing when I am in a bold lash and gold hoops. Woo! Okay, so we're going to talk about the brand, the lashes, the prices, and then compare them to a few popular lashes. So we're going to get into these guys. Um, but first, a little bit about the brand. Um, See That Beauty is a Latina-owned beauty brand who right now specializes in faux mink, cruelty-free lashes. Um, she has a variety from natural to wispy to dramatic. Um, the lashes themselves all have a dark but very flexible band, um, and I've gotten at least 10 to 12 wears out of each lash. Um, if you take care of these babies, they'll take care of you better than your husband. Anyway, each pair of lashes retails at $12 with $4 flat rate shipping, but she's always doing sales, discounts, holiday gift boxes. Um, so definitely follow her on Instagram. Um, but the fact that she is focusing all her efforts on one product for her first launch, um, being the lashes, I really appreciate it. And it paid off because the quality is absolutely perfect. Like, I keep trying other lashes just for the heck of it and just nothing compares to these lashes and the way that like I don't have to fuss with them like at all okay so let's talk about these lashes um, I've got a ton of fur faux fur in front of me because the ladies love me um, no I'll show them kind of close up and then I'll include photos of me wearing each style of course, my battery is about to die. All right, so we're on a new camera. Color's a little off. I don't really care. Let's just dive into the lashes. So my first love from Siva Beauty were the Nami lashes. So they, oh, they're so pretty. So. These were my ride or die for like four straight months. They're wispy and full without being too dramatic. Um, they're, they're perfect. The next one, these are the Aries and these are probably the most natural in her collection. They're long, they're separated. I would say that these are perfect for natural girls. Like if you have a natural bride, <laughs> don't do it. No, but if you're like a natural bride and you just want a little something, these are gonna look like you just have a really good natural lash. It's not gonna look like you're wearing a false lash. The next one are my new babies. I keep looking over here because the viewfinder's over here. It's so annoying because on my other camera, the viewfinder is on top. Anyway, um, these are my new loves. Like, bitch, flutter me to the moon. Look at these. So they remind me of another pair I'm gonna show you, Stunna, but a little bit more full and a little bit more wearable, if you will. Um, but honestly, on my eye shape, I don't think I've ever found a more flattering lash. Like the way that it's, it kind of tapers thin to longest to thinnest, like, it's, it's so flattering on the eye. The thing with false lashes, if you, re you really have to find what flatters your specific eye shape, like almond eyes, very round eyes, the best lash in the world isn't gonna look the best on every different eye shape. So that's why you really do have to try out a bunch of different ones. And I think the style that suits me the most is this type of wisp. 
um, these are gorgeous. I, like, I, I feel like I can't just recommend like one specific pair. Anyway, so keep in mind a lot of these have been used in their janky. Um, these are, I've used the death out of these, but this is from the baddie pack and this is where you also would have gotten the lash applicator. So this pack was so fun. It's, ooh, and I dropped one. Um, it's three like ultra dramatic lashes. Um, let me just show you. Let's look at the bottom row, because I just dropped that one. But we have Bougie, Stunna, and Juicy. I love them all. They're all super dramatic, keep in mind. Um, Stunna is more separated. I'll try to get close. Stunna is more separated around the band. These two are obviously more full. This one is slightly more tapered in one of the corners. Um, if I had to pick a favorite out of this pack, I think it would be Juicy, and I thought that was going to be my least favorite out of the pack, but I popped it on and I said, ooh. Like I said, I'm going to insert pictures of me wearing all of these, um, just to show you what they look like on. Um, uh, trigger warning, some of the photos might be from special effects makeup, so um, there will be blood. Anyway. The pair that I'm wearing right now, um, this is the first time I've tried them. Siani's been telling me forever that I needed these, um, and I finally got them. A uh, moment of truth, I'm a snack. Um, I feel like a macaron from that little French bakery in New Hope. That's how I feel. These are um, called lavish. Let me get close, but not too close. Who is she? These, girl, let me see. These in Flutter, man. These in Flutter, I really feel like I'm gonna have to just buy them in bulk, honestly. Okay, so, ooh, I'm bright. We're fine. So, Moral of the story, I've tried every lash brand imaginable. Lily Lash, Velour Lash, House of Lashes, Benefit Lashes, Ardell, Kiss, Eyelore. Okay, Leslie, my sweet girl, the one pair you re recommended, let's talk about it. Um, these Eyelore ones, uh, the Lux XL Foam Ink in Splendor, these were fire, okay? These were fire, but they were $11.99 and they got gunky after two days of use. Um, I can clean them, but with my CVET ones, I basically just have to peel off like the little bit of residue and it's fine. I actually have to take like a Q-tip and lash cleaner with this, which is fine, but I don't think that's fine for $11.99. Um, another one that I had tried out just because like, just because um, I'm always trying them out. Um, we're from Kiss. They are the Shemise. Shem I'm obviously cultured. Um, these were beautiful, big, wispy, got a whole lot of compliments. Um, and these were inexpensive. These were like $5.99. <coughs> Isn't it funny now how like every time you cough, you're like, <gasps> Do I have COVID? Is this the end? Please. I'm just kidding. Um, these got super gunky too. What I'm kind of noticing with um, less expensive lashes is that they might look the same when you wear them um, and perform the same the first time you wear them, but I just don't think that they're made well enough for prolonged use is my kind of thing. Um, they might say you can get multiple uses out of them, but like they get gunky after like like, I can't even show you, like, the band of this has on, like, it peeled off some of the liquid eyeliner from that day, some of the eyeshadow, some of my concealer, like, these just get gunky. When I peel off my CVET ones, the only thing I have to pull off is a little bit of glue residue. Like, it doesn't take off any of my makeup. Do you know what I'm saying? Um... I also have these. These are an honor honorable mention only because of the band. Um, 
I have these as last resort. I can't get a hold of Siani. I can't get to Ulta because I'm poor. Like, these are absolute last resort if I needed to wear a lash. They're unopened because I, you know, I haven't been there. You know, I'm working again. I haven't, I haven't been that low. Um, but the band is very, very thin. Um, which I only like for a quick lash if I don't want to do winged liner. Um, which is like never. So like I don't even know why I have those. But um, let's just talk about Siani's lashes. So the quality of the foam ink, the flexible band, the amount of wears that you can get out of these specific lashes is impressive. Um, I believe in my friend, I believe in her product, and I wanted to share it with my subscribers. You know, all seven of you. Hi mom, hi Gigi, hi Holly. Oh my God, mom, can we put lashes on Gigi, please? Grandma's gone wild, oh my God. Um, but Siani didn't ask me to make this video. I actually went to her and told her I wanted to make a video about it, and surprise, I got my first coupon code. I am pooping my pants. Emodium, we don't know her. So Jaclyn Hill is shaking in her Manolos, even though she's kind of messy. Ooh, can you imagine me famous? Oh, honey, no. Um, so anyway, if you use code LASHBOSS, I don't know how to put it across the screen because I'm useless, um, but I will link it below, obviously. You will get 10% um, off your entire order, um, and she's always sending out like extra discount codes, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, fun fact, I started my channel in 2012, and 26-year-old me is having her little stutter from the bottom now here, like, moment. Um, another fun fact, I've made $12 in the nine years that I've been on YouTube, so... Um, you can't tell me nothing. Um, any any minute now, um, this is gonna be my full time career. Um, financial stability. We're about to know her. Um, so let me know if you have any requests for me as far as like other videos you'd like to see. I say that in every single video, and no one comments. So I'll just go fuck myself. Bye.